Hey everyone, welcome back to Desert Family Homestead. It's kind of giving you a view here of my garden and my chicken area. It's called the chicken moat. It's all the way down there, that's the front. It's not quite 100% finished, but we're getting there. So they don't have free run in the front part because there's no roofing over to keep them protected from predators. And we do have hawks here. Now that I am inside, and then my garden is smack dab in the center. So we'll come over here. Just got done with collecting my eggs for the day and my assortment of colors. Open my gate here. And I want to show you how I have my garden done. My tomatoes are all in tires like this. I have seven, so there's seven tomatoes, seven tires. I have chives planted in that bowl and I did discover that they are starting to sprout and come up, but they're just really fine so you can't see it just yet. That's my rhubarb and my cilantro. I have potatoes planted in those bags. This bed here, I have four different pepper plants, a green bell pepper, a red bell pepper, a jalapeno, and a green chili. My bed over here, I have okra planted in, and a watermelon, and I have one okra that's popped up so far. <laughs> so it's like, come on okra! Um, in all of these beds, you will probably see some onions sprouting because I just plant my onion bulbs wherever I have the space to plant them in. This is one of the cattle panels. I discovered it in the back corner on our animal pen. And it's not it's in a spot where we're going to be replacing the fencing, so I stole it from there. <laughs> and I have cucumbers planted in this bed. I have Swiss chard. And I also planted a few potatoes in here and onions. So I've got a couple of the cucumbers over here that have already sprouted. And they'll just climb up this trellis and hopefully go all over the top here. And then, and I've got cucumbers planted on the other side also. And they'll come up that side. And then they'll help shade the potato plants and the Swiss chard to help keep them cooler. Tomato, 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 tomato. Back in the back, you can see those pots. My father-in-law gave those to me when they moved out of their house and into an apartment. And I have strawberries planted in them. That is left over from last year's strawberry plants. And then I bought some more little ones. And they are starting to come out. And make themselves known. I have another square bed here. Those are beets that you see there. I've got a oh a yellow squash planted in here. There's another trellis because I have gourds planted all along the edge of this bed. And the gourds will grow and they will attach and they will come up. This is a bigger panel and go over the panel as its trellis but it will provide shade for my bed that's underneath there which is a rectangular bed and it is my asparagus i have lettuce in there i've got some spinach seeds in there and i'm hoping this is these panels are my experiment this year to see if this works to help create shade so that my lettuce will grow longer I've also I've got some radishes down in there too, but um, see if it'll work to help provide shade for my asparagus so that my asparagus will produce better, longer, and my lettuce. Um, I did divide this bed up. It was about half full of asparagus, and I started splitting some of them and dividing them, and I was just like, oh yeah, I'm going to have a full bed of asparagus. So I'm not going to get a whole lot of asparagus out of it this year because of the dividing up that kind of interferes with it but that's okay next year I will this bed 
I have corn planted in and it hasn't started sprouting yet and I've also got um, I think I planted my honeydew in this bed and I've got radishes along one edge also and in my asparagus bed I planted my cantaloupe also so I just planted them throughout the garden this bed here I have carrots I have a zucchini that hasn't sprouted yet and my basil and of course as you can see over there onions now if I did not have onions in my kitchen and I was wanting onions to cook with I would just come out of here and snip these types off and use them uh, over here I have two little pots you can see one little plant is starting and that is my lavender and then I planted bunching onions down in the bottom one because they don't take as much space and room and everything. Over here I have two other little pots that I planted chamomile seeds in. Just I think last week. So they should start coming up this next week. Now, if you'll notice, you'll see the black cloth. I personally decided to try this year and see because I found it on the clearance rack last year at tractor supply this is the garden fabric and I decided to line my beds with it to see if maybe it would help hold the, and retain the water better sorry you don't get to see me tonight <laughs> but um, so what I did was when I because this bed was this bed here these two were here and this one was here and then I had my those three pots my mint I had those two and the two down there the ones the cilantro and the rhubarb I had those in my garden area for last year because my garden stopped right there well not quite there it stopped yeah where these stones are here these stepping stones is where my fence was and it just went to there so it was from here to here so all of this space out here is new space for this year so I about tripled my gardening space which makes me very happy so when I did that and rearranging and putting my other beds in I took these beds and these beds were given to me I did buy one from somebody off of Craigslist they just decided they weren't gonna garden and so I was able to get it really cheap a few years ago but I took I, I took all my soil out of these beds here and divided up my original soil between all my other beds and then I added some new stuff this year but before I did put anything in I'm saying you can't I can't move it uh, it's it's it'll rip up because of the Sun hitting it and everything but before I lined it I lined the beds with this cloth and you don't have to do this I just decided to do it to see if it would help with my watering a little bit but I put that in and then I put cardboard in but before putting the beds down there is wire underneath all my beds and I have some of this nice hardware mesh wire underneath some of them and then I've got chicken wire underneath them and I even did it with my tomatoes under my tomato tires and I'm trying to see if you can see any of it sticking out I don't see any of it sticking out but under this bed you can see the wire there but there's wire underneath all my tires also because of the little ground squirrels and if you have moles then you don't want them burrowing up underneath your planters either and getting your food so the wire went down the beds were put in place and then I lined it with this cloth like I said it's not necessary I just did it it's one of my experiments this year if it doesn't work out it doesn't hurt me because it'll just biodegrade and then I'm good after the cloth got put down then I lined each bed with cardboard cardboard provides another weed barrier and as it breaks down and 
and everything, it turns into nutrients that go into your soil, which will help with your soil. Um, then I added the soil from my previously existing beds, divided it up, and then I added the bag soil that I had bought and and a, and a top soil too. I got some bags of top soil and added to it also because I did not have enough of my own soil here. And as you can tell, my soil, you can see by looking at it, it's clay, it's caliche. So it's really hard. But I mixed the new soils in and everything gave it a some of the beds got to rest a little longer after doing that before I planted and everything but then as I got my plants I started planting and got them all planted um, like I said the cardboard will break down the compost and it'll just be nutrients and then it'll just add more to the soil for next year's garden um, so you have that that's how I put my beds together and how I do them I have tomatoes on one of my cherry tomato plants. Yay! There are three of them there. Cool. Along with some blossoms. Now, when it comes to tomatoes, I also choose, I have a specific that I choose. I choose an indeterminate. Because I want an unlimited supply of tomatoes. <laughs> determinant will tell you it, it makes a specific amount and that's that. Determinant will give you an unlimited supply of tomatoes until they're done. Now my cages here, I'm not quite sure what you call them, but you will find them in the contractor section at Lowe's and Home Depot. They are like the concrete mesh that you put down before pouring concrete. And an old con contractor who lived next door to my parents first made some and told my dad about them. Well, when they moved away and everything, he gave his cages to my dad, who in turn gave them to me because my dad wasn't growing tomatoes at that time. Then my dad came and robbed me of a few and then I robbed them back. <laughs> but um, they, make, they make it really easy to harvest because, as you, back up a little bit here, as you can see the holes, the openings. My hand and arm fits through there really nicely. And I, when I need to harvest, I can just reach through the fencing, grab my tomatoes, put them in my basket, and go. And yes, I do carry a basket when I come out to my garden to harvest. Um, it's just the way it is. You can see the cardboard there that I laid down because I had some long strips of it. So I just ran it underneath, tire to tire. It just goes that way and then I'll help prevent some weeds from growing up through there and everything now the funny thing is is this is where my expansion well the front part here is where the expansion is going to go more we're facing north right now and that will go to the north more we're going to move it out to the north a little bit and then all of this area here where these tires and beds are yeah they're all gonna get moved over here <laughs> into this area. And this area will get turned into an in-ground garden. I wanna get back into it. So we'll till it up and work. I've got two barrels of compost going and they should be ready and I've got some other amendments that I'll add and put in. But basically, if you wanna have a garden you can have you can grow in almost anything that you want to like I said I have the tires we did paint them so that they are not black because black absorbs heat really well in the summertime and we just took some cans of paint that we had laying around and emptied them out by painting these tires and that way we used up some old paint that we had and it'll help keep the roots the soil cooler in the summertime so the roots won't get as hot and it won't and it won't burn up my tomatoes and as you can see in every single one of these I've got my onion bulbs planted and they're sprouting and coming up here 
here's one of the, tom the uh, tomatoes. One of the strawberries that I planted. It's coming out in this bed. There's another one right there, but it's not quite doing as well. And saw one in here the other day. I don't see it right now. And then these, and as you can see, I've got some strawberries coming out on my strawberry plants, which is really cool. And that one's really getting loaded up there. So that's great. My daughter and I will have some fresh strawberries to eat soon. Um, the peppermint. <laughs> the mint. It is in a pot, and it is in a pot for a reason. They are very invasive. If you plant mint into a bed like this, eventually this whole bed will be filled with mint. So if you want to grow mint, and, and really check if you want to get into herbs, really check to make sure that they aren't invasive. If they are, then you put them in a pot like this, and it'll keep them from being invasive. Um, I'm going to try mint. I've had this one a couple of years and I've done a couple of things with it, but not a whole lot. But I'm going to try it in teas for this summer because mint tea is supposed to be very refreshing and cooling. I'm also going to see how it goes in lemonade. But um, yeah, you can see all my onions here. So just plant them around the edge and they're doing well. I do spot a couple of asparaguses that I should have came out and picked the other day cut out um, when you do these types of things and you have just a little bit like with the asparagus some there's sometimes where I get three or four stalks which is not enough for a meal for my family I take and chop it up I put it inside a quiche I saute it add it into you know whatever food we're having if I'm just making a pasta salad and I saute it and, like if I'm putting chicken in my pasta salad, I'll saute it with the chicken and then I'll just throw it in there and it just adds more vegetables. But yeah, this is my garden. This is how I have set mine up and do it. Again, I grow organically, but that does not mean that you have to grow organically because it's your garden and you choose how you want to grow it and everything. That's not my choice, that's not my decision, that's yours. Um, I have gotten little trellises like this and used them for my cucumbers before too. And um, I got those at the 99 cent only store. So they work really well. Cilantro can be invasive, so that's another reason why I put it in a pot. And my rhubarb did not have that many leaves on it yesterday or that. And they were not that defined, so that's a really great thing. Let's see if we can spy. So, oh, see, there's one of the little chives. There's a few of them that you can see coming out. That little green there. Another one. But yeah, I will have chives that I can cook. Can you say hello, ladies? <laughs> see, I have an assorted flock of hens. But yeah, so like I said, I planted a couple of potatoes in that one also. There are three potatoes planted in this bed in the center. And I think I have a melon planted in here too. And then I planted two in each of these bags. Don't know where that came from. So right now, because there's not a roof on the back section of the where we expanded, we have this tarp. We do fire watch security for a local cotton gin and they let me have a couple of old tarps that were just going to go to the landfill anyway and so I saved them from the landfill and we put them up here so that I could open up the back section of my garden here and, and finish enclosing it and getting my garden set up and ready. But my chickens go all the way around. Sorry for the sun just that time of the day. So my chickens have a really large area to walk around in, be in, and everything. So majority of them are over there with the roosters.
but yeah. So I hope that I answered anybody's question that you have. I hope that we get great success. I hope that you have great success. And if you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments and I'll answer any questions that you have to the best of my ability. If it, if I don't know the answer, I will be 100% honest with you and tell you that I don't know. I was thinking I saw another okra brownie, but nope, just a green piece of wood. <laughs> Darn. So, but yeah, I'm anxious to get my full bed of okra. I've been planting limited amount because of just having those three beds over there in the past few years. So, you do not have to plant things as far apart as what they suggest on seed packages. That is another bit of advice I can give you. Um, when this winter comes, I'll show you how my great-grandfather used to, I just scattered my carrot seeds this year. I didn't do my great-grandfather's but this winter I'll do a video and show you how my grand, my great grandfather made seed tape. Because he used toilet paper and right now that's a scarce commodity so I'm not going to waste toilet paper in case I can't find it. Um, but yeah, these are getting a little close here so before long I'm going to have to thin them and I will pull this one in the middle out so that it'll give room for the others to grow around it. But yeah, almost every day I find more and more carrots sprouting and coming up, which is okay because then that means I don't have to harvest them all at the exact same time. So that's another good thing you can do because I did not plant them all at the same time either. Came out and did a few different plantings. But I also have, like I said, I've got onions going down that side of the bed too. So I just plug them in wherever I can. It's called companion planting. And making use of the space you have but I do need to come harvest lettuce because that's really really thick so I guess we're having salad tomorrow so God bless everybody keep growing if you like what you're seeing and hearing hit the subscribe button give me a thumbs up and we will talk soon have a great night